And so we got the hood popped. It makes it way easier to get out these two little bolts that are holding this on. So I don't need the air ratchet to do it because that's kind of overkill. So I'll just take the little hand one and kind of throw them off. All right, got the socket, get the ratchet. Since it already has the holes, I will be getting a new set of those. Maybe a little bit of the bigger ones that our truck has. Kind of keeps your truck a little more safer. But now that it's off, it's obviously a little dirty underneath. But that's what it's looking like. Needs a little bit of a wipe down clean up once I shut the hood. But let's do the other side first and then I'll do both of them. Alright, so we just pulled off the two front fender covers that are chrome. One was bent, one wasn't really in the best shape. We're gonna shut the hood and see how it looks. Obviously a little dirty underneath. Nothing we can't fix. Well, we got the special blend here. A little soap and water. And this is why we'll be replacing these, but with ones that go up and kind of around here and then back down. They protect a little more, look a little better. No Kenworth logo though, because that's a little tacky. I'm not really into that. I like no logos, which this does have no badges at all, so I like that. But there she is. Front chrome things, bezels, deflectors, whatever you want to call them, are off. 
Another piece of the puzzle. We are about to take these battery box lids off. To get this out, we're going to try and spin it slowly and pry on the cover at the same time and hopefully it just kind of pops it out. We'll see. So it must have corroded to the point where the threads are just not on the bolt at all and the bottom threads that are exposed still aren't catching the threaded piece on the inside. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I might just break off the head and then deal with it later or maybe it'll pull through. Let's see if this gives her a little more encouragement. I'm gonna try and pop the head right off, maybe. Let's see. So this helped us with a few bolts on the fuel tanks. It's gonna help us with another bolt right now. Got her. Oh, that's it. Finally off. Finally get this cover off now. There she is. I'll take it off. Take the whole inside of the burgundy. Actually, you know what? It might need to come off. I didn't realize there was so much back to it. Probably had to take it off so I can get to that frame behind it because I don't want to do a half ass job while I'm this far in. But yeah, let's get to the other side then. This one hopefully will be easier, but <laughs> nothing's ever easy. All right, got the socket, long one, because the threads on this are long. Just the best to throw four brand new batteries in there because that's just a hell of a selling feature. People definitely love to see four fresh batteries brand new in here rather than these kind of who knows, right? So same on this side, probably going to have to take it off to get to that back frame, but there is enough of a gap in between that the same blaster could definitely get it without having to take it off. So we'll have to talk to him about it. I'm going to leave this step on for now, but when it gets blasted, I'll definitely take it off and replace that hardware. Anyway. That was just a quick video of uh, taking these battery box covers off. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next one.